नमस्ते गुरु कुरियंस आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एट योर होम आई एम नेहा टी जी टी मैथमेटिक्स इन द गुरुकुल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर थ्री ऑफ योर बुक क्लास फिफ्थ दैट इज मल्टीपल्स एंड फैक्टर्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट इज नीडेड टू स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर इज दैट यू शूड रिमेंबर ऑल द मल्टीप्लीकेशन टेबल्स इन योर माइंड okay because it is very very important to know multiplication tables only then you can study multiples and factors okay so first we let me tell you the definition of multiples what are multiples multiples are basically the numbers that you obtain after multiplying two numbers okay that is the product of of two or more numbers the product of two or more numbers is the multiple So let us do this. 
this first. 3 multiplied by dash is 24. Dash multiplied by 6 is 54. 7 into dash is 63. 8 into dash is 48. All these are given in your book. Dash into 7 is 49. So let me do one for you. 3 multiplied by dash is 24. At what number? Uh, in the table of 3, you get 24, you get an 8. 3 is a 24. Like this, you will do the rest of the blanks. Okay, students? Uh, in this, the numbers coming here are the factors of this product. Okay? So, we are moving to the next concept of factors now. Okay? Let us define factors now. The numbers that are multiplied are called factors. Okay, so we will do one more uh, definition for this also. Before that, let me give you some properties of multiples. There are few properties of multiples. Some, uh, first is every number is a multiple of one and its. Let me tell you in this in the end of this example. Seven is a multiple of seven and one here. So you see, property says every number is a multiple of one and itself. Seven is a multiple of one. Also, it is a multiple of seven. So it applies on all the numbers. Like nine to one is nine. 6 into 1 is 6. So, every number is a multiple of 1 and the number is 7. The properties are given in your book. I am just explaining to you. Every number is a multiple of 1 and it's 7. Okay. Next property says the smallest multiple of a number is the number it's 7. Okay. Now, smallest multiple of 9 is 9 here. If you take another number, 9 multiplied by 2, that will be 18. But 18, 9 is smaller than 18. The first multiple uh, of a number is the number itself. 9 multiplied by 1 is 9. 9 multiplied by 2 is 18. 9 multiplied by 3 is 27. So the smallest multiple of a number is the number itself. After that, all the multiples are greater than the number. Okay, students? Next is every multiple of a number is equal to or greater than the number. Simple. First multiple is equal to 9, the number itself. Second multiple is greater than 9. Third multiple is even greater than 9. It is valid for all the numbers. Okay. So every multiple of a number may be equal to the number or may be greater than that. You can take any table. 3 into 1 is 3. First multiple is equal to the number only. 3. Into 1 is 3. 3 gives 3. First multiple. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 3 is a 9. So all the multiples, consecutive multiples are greater than the number. The first multiple is equal to the number itself. Okay. Multiples are endless. You can take mul mul endless multiples of any number. Because you can multiply 9 by any number. You can multiply 100 also. With thousand also and so on. So the multiples of a number are endless. There is no end to the number of multiples that can be obtained for a number. Okay. Okay. Uh, the multiples of two are even numbers and.
then the numbers which are not multiples of 2 are odd multiples. I leave you for one example for this problem. Okay. Uh, you are to write first 5 even multiples of 3. First 5 even multiples of 3. So how will you write even multiples of 3? The first even multiple of 3 will be obtained by multiplying 3 with 2. 3 to the 6. Next even multiple will be obtained by multiplying 3 with 4. 3 4 is 12. We are going to take only even numbers before multiplication to get even multiples. I hope this concept is clear to you. The third even multiple will be obtained by multiplying 3 with 6. 3 6 are 8. This is the third even multiple. Next is 3 is a 24 and the fifth one is 3 10 is a 30. Okay? This is how you will obtain even multiples of 3. Okay? By multiplying with even numbers. On the other hand, if you are told to find odd multiples of numbers, how will you do that? Find first three odd multiples of seven. This is the next example that I am taking. You have to find first three odd multiples of seven. So how you will do? First multiple is obtained odd multiple by multiplying it with 1. That is a odd number. 7 ones are 7. The next odd number will be obtained by multiplying 7 with the next odd number which is 3. So 7 is a 21. And similarly, the third odd multiple will be obtained by multiplying 7 with the next odd number which is 5 so 7 5 are 35. Here you will conclude that first 3 odd multiples of 7 are 7, 21 and 35. Similarly you will write the answer for this also. First 5 even multiples of 3 
12 by 3. If it is divisible and you get a remainder equal to 0, then you will say yes, 3 is a factor of 12. But if the remainder does not come out to be equal to 0, then you will say 3 is not a factor of 12. So let me check this, check this for you. 3 goes up 12. So clearly here we are getting remainder equal to 0. Therefore, yes, 3 is a factor of 12. Similarly, you can do more examples. If you are asked to find if 4 a factor of 36, then you will check it by division like this. 4 minus 36, remainder is coming out to be equal to 0. So you will conclude yes, 4 is a factor of Exactly. When A is said to be a factor of B. Okay. If a number can be divided by another number exactly like we have done in previous two examples, then that is said to be a factor of B. Okay? With this, let me tell you some properties of factors also. They are given in your books. I am just explaining you the meaning of the properties. First is, 1 is a factor of all numbers. 1 is a factor of all numbers. Likewise, if you check is 1 a factor of 9, then you will get 1 minus 9. Yes, 1 is a factor of 9. And you can check it for any number. Is 1 a factor of 20? 1 to the 2, 0 comes down. 1 0 is up. 0, remainder is 0. So here also 1 is a factor of 20. So yes, 1 is a factor of all the numbers. You can check any number and you will get 1 is a factor of all the numbers. And 1 is always the smallest of all the numbers. Smallest factor of all the numbers. Rest factors will be greater than 1. A number is a factor of itself also. Like you will check is 9 a factor of 9. You will check it by dividing 9 minus 9 will be 0. So yes, 9 is a factor of 9. Every number can be divided by the number, can be divided by itself. So yes, every number is a factor of itself. Okay, this is the meaning of this property. Next is a number is the greatest factor of itself. Okay, like, like me can tell you an example of 9. 9 can be divided by 1. 9 can be divided by 3. Here also the remainder is 0. 9 can be divided by 9. Here also the remainder is 0. So the factors of 9 are 1, 3 and 9. 9 is getting divided by 1, 3 and 9. These 3 numbers. Okay? Out of which 1 is the smallest factor. And 9 is the greatest factor. This is the meaning of this property. That the number itself is the greatest factor of itself. And 1 is the smallest factor of itself. You can take any example. In all the examples, you will get the factor. 1 factor as 1. 
and one factor is the number itself and maybe some other factors intermediate line between these two okay so this property says the number is the greatest factor of itself okay you can take many examples on your own and verify it next is factor of a number is smaller than or equal to the number now see 1 3 and 9 are all the fact all these are factors of 9 okay so factor of a number can be smaller or equal to 9 is a factor and it is equal to the number 9 but 1 and 3 are also factors of the number but they are smaller than 9 so the factors can be equal to or smaller than the number okay students in multiples it was opposite the multiples can be equal to or greater than the number Like in that case, we used to multiply. Nine into one was nine. Nine into two was eighteen. Nine into three, twenty-seven, and so on. In this manner, you used to find the multiples. Nine, eighteen, and twenty-seven are the multiples of nine. Yes or no? And you see in the result, you will observe that the multiples are greater than the number. Multiples of a number are either equal to the number or greater than the number. So this is the main difference between multiples and factors. Okay, students. Next is let me tell you how to find the factors of a number. Like in your book, you are given uh, an example to find find or write all the factors of twelve. So in this, what you will do? One multiply by twelve gives me twelve. I have to write all the factors which give me twelve as answer. Okay. So one into twelve gives me twelve. Two multiplied by what gives me twelve? Obviously two six or twelve. Three multiplied by what gives me twelve? I will solve it in my hand and then four. Okay. So with all these multiplications, in three ways of multiplications, I am getting fifteen as answer. Okay. So twelve. Uh, the factors of twelve are one. Twelve, two, six, three, and four. But I will write the answer. In the first of twelve are one, two, three, four, six, and two. Okay, students. The all these numbers on whose multiplication you get this number will be the factors of the number. Okay. Let me give you one more example. Write all the factors for thirty six. So one into thirty six will give me thirty six. Two multiplied by dash will give me thirty six. It is eighteen. Okay. Three multiplied by twelve also gives me thirty six. No. Eighteen. Sixty-four. You will solve it in similar manner. 
Next is write all the factors of 81. Next is write all the factors of 49. And let me give you some examples. Some questions regarding multiples also. Try to solve the questions on both the concepts on your own. Take good care of yourself and thank you.